welcome to lesson two of the um, C Sharp Short series. So today we're going to be talking about variables. Now, last video we talked about arguments. Today we talk about variables. And what is the difference between arguments and variables? Well, an argument is a they're very similar, but for me, the way I like to think about them is that an argument is only there for as long as the action um, is is available. So when I run an action, which you'll see here, what I'm going to show you, there's the win chance. So that 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 value of win chance is only available while that one action runs. But the global variables are going to always save and update and everything. The next thing you need to know with global variables is you have user and your global. Now, user ones are tied to specific users, so things like points could be good for that. But global variables would be like a death count. So things that, you know, are generic overall for the cat stream. You know, you say a certain word, you get a count out for it. That sort of thing. And in the in, in and in variables, you have temporary variables and persistent variables. And what's the difference between them? Well, the difference between them is persistent will save when you close your bot down. So you want things like points and you know things like that. But temporary variables will just be delete won't save. So they just stay in the with the bot when the bot closes, they'll go. The use case for both of them. I like to use persisted just because it gives me a little bit more control myself personally but that is how it's done so let's look at the code which which you is going to use some variables and let's dive right into what it does so here's the code now if we just move this down you'll see up here there's a set argument win chance under the cube and we've got a code here so we set that to 50 percent. This num line number seven here, I'm gonna start here. This is a random. So this is doing a random. We'll talk about randoms a bit further more down the line, but basically random is gonna get a random number between one and a hundred. It's gonna pull in that win chance. So that number, as you see, we're pulling it in, we convert it to int 32. We're pulling it in. We're getting who's redeemed it. So this is the username. We're pulling in the username. That is how that's done. And then we're doing an if statement. So we're saying if result, this random number, is more than the chance of this number that we've set, set to 50. So if, if the random number is more than 50, it's going to do this. If it's not, it's going to do nothing and just break out. So what does it do then? So then it's going to send a message saying you win. Now, here's the key points you need to know about variables. We're going to pull in the variable for points. We're going to then, what we're going to do is, we're going to go new points equals points plus a thousand. So we're adding a thousand to points and then we're saving them. So as you see, the two different versions are get user var and set user var. When you get it, you need to tell it what type of what type of it is, what type of data it is. So in this case, it's an integer, so it's a number. And then, as you see, user is the person who's who's, who's it tied to because it's a user variable. This is the variable name, and true is a persisted because it points. We want it persisted. And then what we do, we set it, and we do the same thing. We don't need to say what type of data it is, uh, but we say the user who it is, the variable name. The value and then if it's persisted the setting globals are exactly the same except you don't select the user if you get in a global variable you still need to tell it what type of variable it is and then you tell it what the variable name is and if it's persisted likewise when you're setting it you just put the variable name the value and if you want it persisted and that is how you use globals in c sharp if the global doesn't exist you may need to add some checking into that but generally it should be okay. But just be careful that sometimes it may cause break depending on how complex your code is. So that is So 
So that one is going to wrap up how to use global variables. I know I know these are short. I actually my short as possible. If you don't get out, do ask. Again, this code will be in the description. But without further ado, I want to say goodbye.